Hi everyone, it's Kim here, Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Um, I am not going to promise you, but I would like to do a series on this new cartridge that just came out. Now, um, I have this funny little inside joke with myself, if that's such a thing. Every time a new cartridge comes out, or a font cartridge, a, a card cartridge, not, not uh, any cartridge, but a card cartridge. I say, no, I have enough card cartridges, I'm not going to buy that one, or I already have enough font cartridges, or, you know, I have Cricut Design Space subscription, so I don't need to, well, you know, here it comes. I went and bought it anyway. Now, I have been buying off of the Cricut Design Space and not buying the actual cartridges, but I saw this on Cartridges and More, and it was a bundle with... Um, the simple pop-up cards. Now, it was $29.99 and I just thought it was a really good deal. Now, I have simple pop-up cards on my Cricut Design Space, so I'm going to be giving this to a friend of mine who still works on her expression. But I am also going to be doing this card using my expression. Long story short, my Explore uh, pen assembly broke and I repaired it. And for some reason, the uh, my Explore stopped working. So, um, I got a hold of Cricut and they're shipping me a new one because it was under warranty. So I started on this though. I don't know enough of that stuff. Um, yeah, so I, I think I'm going to really try to do a series on this because the cards in here are so gorgeous. Um, if you get a chance, um, you can Google it and click on the image and look at all the cards that we're giving it. Cause I don't know if you're going to be able to see it this well on this video. Um, so I'm going to be doing the first one in this video here, but these are so intricate and so gorgeous and so quick to make if you're like oh my gosh I need a thank you card look through here um, there's a lot of cartridges like that on this Cricut thing so um, birthday cards love you cards um, oh let's see well I'm just gonna thumb through here and then it comes with the envelope so let's get started on this first card now I ordered some um, smooth textured American crafts paper from joanne.com and I promise I got it from joanne.com because I remember saying I got the other one from Hobby Lobby and it ended up that Hobby Lobby didn't have those because I just my brain just went shut down I didn't remember where I got it but honest to God I just got this um, actually yesterday and they were two paper packs and um, they're different colors so I don't have to go through that right now if you want information on that I can tell you that but that's it so these are the colors that I chose and some instruction first. I am all over the place in this video. I'm sorry. I, I get all excited and then I don't know how to talk. So let's get to the first one. Here it is here. You're going to need a score blade for this um, or a score pen if you're using your Explore. You're first going to cut out this and the recommended size is five and a half which is perfect. So go ahead and stick with that and you're going to be using two colors. And you know whatever colors you want. I chose the cream and this really really pretty teal color. I'm actually going to be sending this to a friend of mine, or not a friend, but a doctor that kind of went far and beyond for me recently. And um, I think she deserves to know that she's appreciated. So this is going to be for her. So your your Cricut's going to cut out this one first, and this is it right here. So it's going to cut it out flat, and then with your score blade now the explore the Cricut design space will automatically do this not automatically but you can just click on the go on the screen and um, it'll score it so it's gonna it's gonna score keep this in on your mat and it's gonna score those lines so that those two layers will fold over then you're gonna put some fresh paper on your mat and you're gonna do the inserts then you're going to do your envelope and that's at five and a half as well keep your envelope on your mat and it's going to score the envelope then you can take that off and then you're going to cut the inside of the envelope so let me show you how that works and i'll leave that right there so here you have the the flat layer and it's going to score and it's kind of cool because it scored um like right so that it's kind of has a design on the edge of it which is really pretty and then these are your two pieces and then this is the inside of your envelope which you're going to put right in here and you want to cover up that little hole 
or not the whole, but the design on the front. You know what? Let's just put the card together. Um, you know, I didn't put take out any embellishments or, or anything. I, I do want to put a little thank you in here. Um, you know, you could also, um, I was thinking about taking some of that teal blue and doing a double layer, like doing um, a little bit smaller of a blue here. And just ramble it on here. So we're going to go, I would cut out maybe a three and three quarter sheet of blue and then go back and do a little bit smaller size of the cream and, um, you know, write the note just to give it a little bit more color in it. So it's going to fold over like that. It scores all your lines for you. Let's go ahead and get our glue and do our inserts. Now I'm thinking it's going to be super important to get it on the edge. I don't see that these in here are popping up too much, but if you feel like you need to do that, uh, put glue on it, you should put glue on it then. I mean, even, you know, maybe like a here and there just to make it stable. Now this is the first time I've used this cartridge. So, um, you know, we're kind of experimenting and I'm gonna match it up so that it goes just like that. And it looks like you got a little bit of border, border around here, so now we know not to put the glue right on the edge. Maybe it would be better to actually put it on the inlay. Let me grab my white piece here for a second. Since I touched that glue. No, we don't want to put, yeah, okay, we definitely don't want to put the um, glue on the actual card base. You want to put it on your inlay. Do you see what I did there? See the mistake I made? So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that glue the best I can so it doesn't stick when I close it. All right, so let's do it right on this end. And it certainly wouldn't hurt to put a little bit on, you know, here and there on those two. It's not going to hurt to do that. Yeah, so I'm a sucker. I'm a cricket cartridge sucker. I love it. I'm not I'm not sad about it. <laughs> Should I be sad? Am I putting this in right? Uh nope. It goes should go this way. Um I shouldn't say a sucker, I should say an addict. Holy moly, sucker is so negative. Well, I guess addict doesn't sound very good either, but yeah, they got me. Crickets got me. Alright, that'll dry. Okay, I'm not concerned about that. So like I said, I want to put my um, blue insert and then another cream insert and then I can write on the inside of that. Let's put our envelope together. Um, again, leave your mat, you leave your envelope in, leave your mat and then it'll score it for you. And I'm going to line it up right here. And um, it'll also score this right here but I took it out too soon. I already took it out and I took it off the mat and I go, oh shoot, it's going to score that one too. So we're just going to Put this on and I'll just fold it over but that's what's so cool about this cartridge oh my gosh it just scores for you in everything line it up right there and before I push down it I want to make sure that I'm lining it up as here as well because that's the important part right okay so look it's already scored okay now I could use my score my um yeah, my brain. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to line it up to this one right here. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. There you go, Kim. Scoreboard. And we're going to go like this. Now, I like to use score tape. So I'm on a roll with the score tape. But that one's too wide. And I don't believe it matters which side. You never know. Um, I thought also this would be absolutely gorgeous to use um, a design, a, a paper that's got print on it, like flowers or even stripes or something like that. Wouldn't that be so cute? You don't have to have it plain on the outside. And then this one you want to put on the outside because it's fancy. You want the fancy part to show. I'm going to put that about right there. 
Okay, so if you've done cards from this cartridge, you see that I'm doing something wrong or different, um, you know, leave a comment and um, I'll make that correction because I want to make sure that, you know, we're doing this correctly. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so let's put the card in it. So I show how it all comes together. Look at how beautiful that is. Could you imagine black and white, pink and black? Um, just, you know, have fun with this. Look at that. Gorgeous. And my expression actually cut that out. So I was very proud. Very proud of my expression. Since I had packed it away. He didn't let me down. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead. And what I do when I mail things like this is I do put score tape on it across here. Now there are, I also have what's called glue gum that I got from Amazon that is the same thing as they use on your mailing envelopes. Um, but I'm going to put a piece of tape on that. I may even put like a little thingy there too. I'm not sure. But that's it. Um, like I said, I'll try to do a series on this. If something comes up um, where I've got some extra time, I'll, I'll throw in, you know, the next cart. But thanks so much for watching and being patient with me. I just had a weird, this is a weird video. All right. Have a great day.